please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stay tuned for the morning announcements. If you're undecided or interested in Murray State University, Brescia University, or Miami University, join us for today's virtual visits. The Youth Salute application deadline is today, so don't forget to submit your application. The College Project will host a pre-college planning webinar tomorrow at 6 o'clock p.m. titled Freshmen Sophomores, How to Prepare for College Admissions. The NaviGo Scholars Program will accept applications until Friday, November 13th. Selected juniors and seniors will meet virtually twice a month to learn about advanced manufacturing engineering with Toyota and Duke University. Participants will also learn about college and career skills. Visit today's Canvas announcements to access the registration links for these opportunities and register for today's virtual visits on your CCR Canvas calendar. Hey Douglas, this is Mr. Alcala, your cinematography instructor. We're having our first STLP meeting of the year Wednesday, November 18th at 3.30. STLP stands for Student Technology Leadership Program. We encourage you to come find out how to represent Douglas in regional and state competitions in categories like video production, programming, robotics, photography, digital art, and technology-based service projects. And probably some other stuff I left off too. Uh, come on out Wednesday, November 18th at 3.30. Uh, Bitly link is here on the slide. Thanks. See you then. Good morning, good morning, good morning. As you can see, I'm not in the studio today. I'm filming the morning announcements from my office. And that's one of the things that our technology now and the way that we function has changed and improved. We have the ability to work remotely and um, it's gonna change business. It's gonna change industry. It's gonna change the way that the future uh, enterprise takes place right because it's expensive for companies to have a physical location it's expensive for companies to pay for the maintenance of the building pay for the internet in the building pay the electricity where they could have their employees work remotely so a lot of folks have been doing that for a while that business model has existed but with the global pandemic that business model has been expanded and if an employer can get the same level of productivity and cut their overhead, what do you think they're gonna do? Um, now, on that note, I wanna say that it is Veterans Day, and that is the 11th day of the 11th month, and technically on the 11th hour is when we acknowledge, respect, and, and commemorate our veterans, those that have gone to the military and served our country. Um, that's a big deal, that's a big deal because I believe we live in one of the best countries in the world. There's a reason I came here. There's a reason my parents came here. There's a reason a lot of families are trying to come to the United States. You don't see a lot of folks leaving the United States with the exception of I'm going to retire in a country where the dollar is very strong or I'm going to retire in a tropical paradise, things of that nature. But they made their wealth and they made their life here um, at the great United States. I was making a left-hand turn when I come on campus. I come from the Winchester Road side and I make a left there into the front of campus. I come from the, uh, from the expressway side on Winchester Road. I make a left and the first thing I see typically is the, the building from the side and then through the side of the building I can see the athletic complex. And I remember having a conversation with our athletic director at the beginning of um, Frederick Douglass in, in 2017 and I said I said you know whatever size you're gonna make whatever flag you're gonna put out there whatever size you're ordering triple it we want the American flag to be as large and as visible as possible and he did that flag is huge so I made a left this morning coming into campus and I saw and I saw the campus beautiful and I look over and I see the stadium and I'm thinking to myself, man, that flag just stands out. It's a sense of joy. It's a sense of pride. We're Americans in America. And united we stand, divided we fall. That's all I want to say right now for, for Veterans Day. Just an honor to, to have some work here in the building, some veterans that work here in the building. 
and to acknowledge and respect and pay homage to our um, veterans on Veterans Day. It's a C day, right? So we're going to follow our C day schedule. We're going to make sure that we're making contact with our teachers and we're going to make sure that we are up to date. Teachers have to report their grades in the grade book today. So you got to make sure that you're doing all your work and you're getting everything turned in. The golf team sent me a note and they want to acknowledge um, several seniors or several golfers that have achieved a 4.0. So uh, Bryson Berry and Andrew Lewis, the seniors, have achieved a 4.0 during the golf season. Uh, you have uh, junior Kendall Fulmer Burnett also achieved a 4.0. Congratulations. And uh, freshman Allison uh, Brenneman, eighth graders Addison Courtney and Drew Edwards. A big shout out to you guys for achieving the perfect GPA during the golf season. That's not an easy task. Athletes will tell you that maintaining high grades and high expectations for yourself as well as keeping the practice schedule and, and, and doing all the competitions and things that are that you have to do as an athlete can become a challenge. So really, really proud of you guys. The player of the year for the golf team, sophomore Charlie Alley and seventh grade girls player of the year is Claire Reynolds. So congratulations to you guys, Mr. and Miss Bronco. That's the best team at award. Goes to juniors Robert Vaughn and Sydney King. And we have several, uh, we have a student that was voted to the all regional, uh, all team for the ninth region and that's sophomore Carl Space. So congratulations, great season for you sophomores. I now have a special announcement for seniors. We are doing a senior only event. It is called the Senior Sunrise. The seniors are going to meet at the stadium at 715 to watch the sunrise together. And then in May, they're gonna meet again to watch the sunset together. This event is gonna take place in November. You have to register for the event. You cannot just show up. You have to register for the event at the bit.ly, that's http semicolon slash slash bit.ly slash senior sunrise, FDHS in caps. Um, so that looks to be a great, great, great event that we have coming up. Guys, be respectful, be safe, be responsible, do a good job with your classes. Uh, we are making plans to come back to in-person school in January, and I sent a survey out to your parents to see who intends on coming back to in-person school in January. I'm Lester Diaz, your principal, and it is an honor and a privilege to serve you in this capacity.